Welcome to Joe's Astrology. This is the birth chart for Johnny Depp. And Johnny Depp is a Leo rising, a moon in Capricorn, and a sun in Gemini. And before I forget here, I really want to emphasize this seventh house where he has Aquarius ruled by Uranus on the cusp and he has Saturn in Aquarius on the 7th and correct me if I'm wrong but I believe it was Nicolas Cage that really put him on uh, somebody who he met early in his career that got him into acting and if we look here uh, we see the idea of Aquarius on the seventh house cusp you know, meeting people who are uh, unique or talented or geniuses, meeting people who are uh, are have the ability to change the life quickly, Uranus, and also Nick. Looking at this Saturn, Nicholas Cage. If you check out his chart, I haven't done it yet. He's a Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. He has South Node in Capricorn, and he also has Uranus uh, trining. Um, I believe it's trining something in Capricorn. And, oh, it's trining his Mercury in Capricorn. Exactly. So the reason why I mentioned that is the Uranus piece. Uh, the fact that he does have a prominent Uranus. So we, And his Saturn. His Saturn is conjunct Venus in Aquarius. So we see this symbolism here. Pretty literal with uh, his meeting of with... Um, Nicholas Cage. You can see that with the Saturn there, he would relate to people through work primarily, which I believe that is true about him. He also had some issues with his girlfriend or wife, and we see Saturn in the seventh is not the greatest planet to have in the seventh. And we, we also see that there was um, a trial involving, um, you could see involving the government with Saturn there in the seventh as well. He has this moon in the 6th house in Capricorn, and it's in the Taurus Deccan. And he also has Mars, Uranus, and Pluto in Virgo. So this is a guy who, he, he really did work his way to the top. Uh, he's done tons of movies. He was very much into the art of um, acting. You see that with the 6th house the six house moon where he probably was very much into the characters uh, trying to do really the best the best or you could think of a perfectionist uh, in in his in his trade he, he I believe he was a perfectionist he's got Neptune here in the fourth Neptune, any planet in the 1st, the 4th, the 7th, or the 10th is very powerful. Neptune being a planet of performances. It's in the Pisces Deccan. And he has it there in the 4th. It's also squaring at 13 degrees. Squaring is ascendant, which is Leo, the planet or the sign of performance, and creativity, art. And Neptune is also making an inconjunct to Jupiter in the 9th. So with that in conjunct, we see the idea of Jupiter being beliefs and um, planet of learning. This was a guy who has some unusual beliefs, I'm pretty sure, and he would have done a lot of analysis of his belief system, constantly unsure of what the truth is. He does have planets in the first, as I mentioned, Uranus and Mars in the first, Mercury and Venus in the tenth, in Taurus, uh, and with uh, planets in the first, two, four, five, six planets in the first, the fourth, the seventh, and tenth. So there's just an example of someone uh, who has uh, a lot of planets in angular houses, or we, we could say that's um, really making them more powerful or more prominent than 
if they were in other planets, it also, or I'm sorry, other houses, it also symbolizes the, I believe, what we can say, the first, the self. You know, he puts a lot of importance on his self in life. He's a, he's a superstar. Uh, there's importance on the emotions when it comes to acting. You think of like being able to alter your emotional state in order to fit the character. As I said, the seventh, meeting the right people in order to uh, promote the career. And then back to the career here. We see Saturn is also squaring those two planets in the house of the career, Mercury and Venus. Uh, this guy would, he's willing to do the work. He's willing to use his talents. Uh, he could have a massive career, which he has, with those planets in the house of career. And I say that about the talents because of Mercury being there as well. He's, he's would have had to use his mind. It's not something that just would have came to him. It was something that he'd have to work for. Sun in the Gemini in the 11th, uh, and it's in the Libra Decan, a really good placement for someone who can alter his personality, alter his, his image in order to fit the characters, being a Gemini. Here's a south node, conjunct the moon in Capricorn in the 6th, so possibly somebody who, despite all this fame, feels like uh, may feel held back, frustrated, um, depressed, not in, not kind, not really living up to the, to the hype of what fame can do for somebody or the money, what the money would bring. And we see that with the, uh, South Node ruler that's in Capricorn is that Saturn and what happened when Pluto went over that moon and south node he had the it, the trial and the issues with the with the girlfriend you know really humbling him I'm sure and you've seen him in the trial he's like super Virgo very very depressed looking uh, just total total Virgo total earth sign in like a not so good state we see the Mars Uranus in the first house. Uh, you know, that could be good for being a celebrity. You know, it's being, he's electric, he's dynamic, he's a genius. Uh, but then it's in Virgo, and, you know, when things aren't going so well, and when he had that Pluto transit, um, that could create some very inward inwardly catastrophic uh, feelings, I would say. And even throw Pluto in there to boot. So that is a short mini reading for Johnny Depp. I'm going to leave it there for now. Hope you enjoyed this and check out my Patreon soon. I'm going to be doing in-depth readings uh, that will be at least an hour long, really covering the whole chart. And um, uh, look forward to that. I'll have a link down in the description.